I what up Virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl Jeannie and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy let's see what's going on for you today we're gonna be trying to do a quick energy reading I promise to try to keep it quick okay um with this energy I have um uh, oh before I start, I just want to say I'm um, thankful and grateful for everybody who clicked on this video, who shows my channel love in any type of way. I love you back. Okay. So Virgo, the song I got was Above the Clouds, um, Above the Clouds by Gangstar Energy. And the line that really stuck out to me was Mysterious Force on the Loose. Okay. And I'm getting like, this is your energy here. Um, unable to be captured somewhere above the clouds. Okay. I'm also getting like, you have time to um get back to your hobbies start working out there's like something where you could be way ahead of the schedule way ahead of the game and now you're just like filling your time with things that creatively spark your mental stimulation give you some type of mental stimulation and if you're not do not allow yourself to get idle, okay? You need mental stimulation all the time, okay? You need to let loose a mysterious force. And for me, um, I find that in hobbies, like I like freestyling, I like hiking, I, you feel me? Like where I can let my energy loose. So that's what Spirit is asking you to do in this time. Do not get idle, do not sit still, keep moving here, okay? Um, with this mysterious force on the loose, I feel like uh, spirit is asking you to loose some type of force, loosen some force inside of you, loosen up, okay? Get off schedule, get off routine, step out of routine, switch it up here. Um, something about exploring your freedom or expanding your wings above the clouds, soaring energy. All right. First card we got out was because of you, okay? Um, so there's an energy here who is doing things who feel like because of you, they don't do things or because of you, they can't do things. And this is pointing back to the mysterious force on the loose. OK, so you could be because of you energy. This could be you, Virgo. There could have been something happen. I could have <laughs> you could have had something happen to you. Stop messing with that. You could have had something happen to you and because of that you don't do things or you don't do a certain thing. And you need to loosen up here or there is somebody who is blaming you. OK, for the, the fact that you are loose, the fact that you are away, that they were unable to capture you because of that, they're unable to do something here. All right, let's tap into this energy here. First energy out for mysterious force on the loose. Why is because of you here for Virgo? Look, this is my last resort energy. Mm. Somebody's real desperate because you're on the loose. They're out here doing desperate things, taking desperate measures thinking desperately and lack mindset because you're loose. Okay. Yeah. We have slave. Look at this energy. Okay. Surrendering your power of choice to the divine without com with complete choice here. So somebody wanted you to be their slave, but you have surrendered, surrendered your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. So you can't be a slave to anybody else, especially when the divine is controlling you because the divine will tell you to move three, three, three. I'm speaking very fast. I got a whole lot of shit to say. So like buckle the fuck up. Also stop speeding, but like have fun. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cause there's something about driving like, um, freedom, the mysterious force on a loose and you just take it off. Okay. There's nobody who can catch this energy here. This is a slippery ass person right here. You see this person slipping through all the invisible lines in this energy. Somebody tried to put you in an invisible box. Okay, an energetic box. They try to box you in or control you, put you in a cage, and you slip out of corners and cages because you listen to the divine. Okay, and because you're loose, somebody is blaming you for something. All right, whoever this was, they really wanted you to be their slave. We have student here, we have shapeshifter. All right, this person was supposed to learn from you, and instead they tried to capture you, and that's what the problem is temporary problem. What's well, because of you here? We have deep personal strength and peace that assures success and you will be playing a different role energy. Okay. So yeah, I feel like Virgo, somebody is blaming you. Okay. That they have to go through some type of, um, change where they play a deep, different role, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Okay. So 
this person here has to play a different role because you have a deep personal strength that assures success here. It's almost like this person couldn't control you because of this. So this is somebody who was trying to uh, make you play a different role than what you were trying to play. But you are somebody who is deeply, you have deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So this is like somebody telling you, not telling. I'm using examples. This is somebody who's telling you that you're not slippery. And you're like, what? What do you mean I want slippery? You know that I have the world record for the most slippery person. Like I be out, I can slip through anything. And this person is like, no, you can't. And he was like, watch this bitch. Like this is the energy. This is somebody here who thought that they could place upon you restrictions or fuck up your environment in a way that, to make you play a different role. Like if I don't put anything slippery around you, you can't slip out it. If the, if the cage is invisible, yeah, that's what they did. If the cage is invisible, you can't slip out it. You was like, bet, watch me. And you put in this personal strength and peace that assured you success of getting out of whatever shit that they were trying to get you stuck in. And this is where that student energy is. You have, you gain some type of knowledge from this. And once you learn how to slip out, this person will never be able to uh, catch you slipping again. Okay. They'll never be able to catch you slipping again. You are on the road to success. That's the energy and they don't like it. Okay. We have the higher effect coming out here. Um, Ace of Cups energy. Why is it because of you here? Oh! I feel like uh, somebody is attacking you just based off of your spiritual convictions, who you are, your deep personal strength and peace that assures success, your mentally strong foundation based off of your convictions. That's why somebody attacks you. Okay. <laughs> uh, you could also be t being attacked by a community, a group of people because you left them out in the cold. What's because of you, energy? We have the world and the eight of wands. <laughs> this is ending something, a complete ending and moving, okay? This is traveling, moving away, okay? What's the, uh, the world card to the eight of wands, energy? <laughs> we have the star card. The six of wands. Okay, so after you completed a cycle, Virgo, you shot forward and got into this star energy. Okay, so because of you energy, somebody thinks because of them, they're the, somebody that taught you a lesson. There's, they feel like they're your teacher. <laughs> Whoever this is with the world card, that is a completion, that is a lesson, that is a... Uh, you that is the end of a cycle here because you learned a lesson okay that is integrating some type of aspects that you have learned from something and somebody feels like they taught you this lesson that then pushed you on to stardom and then who made you who you are somebody really wants you to feel like your stardom your success is all on them based off of them because of them they made you play a different role and because they made you play a different role you had this certain success this is why you're successful virgo because i tried to put you in an energetic cage you had to get uh you had to get knowledgeable what the fuck are you doing hold on give me that okay give me the napkin as well why are you playing with gum Give me the napkin. Okay. Don't do that. You know you're not allowed to touch mommy's gum. I will put you in a corner. Go downstairs with na your nana. Here, hold on. They nana just got here. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Thank God for grandmas, right? Thank God for grandmas, okay? Because, ooh. Your girl needed a break. <laughs> your girl, your girl needed a break. And it take it really do take a village. Okay. It really do take a village to take care of these kids. Cause whew, my niece is over here too. It's a lot. I'll be doing a lot. <laughs> I'll be doing a lot. Anyways, let's get back to this energy here. Somebody here feels like they put you in last resort energy. They did something to energetically try to trap you. And because of them, because of something that they did to you that may have hurt you they feel like this is what pushed you towards stardom your success <laughs> they feel like you owe them 
you owe them for your success. Yeah, they feel like they did something to you in the past. And then you went on to be successful and they feel like that's because of them. Okay, let's see who this person is. I want to see because... <laughs> Uh, hold on. Let's spill the tea on this person because I want to expose this person for a minute. Somebody thought that they did something to you that triggered you to uh, stardom, success. Um, and I feel like whoever this is is a narcissist who is trying to sugarcoat abuse. This is the energy of somebody being like, yeah, I like Virgo downstairs in the basement with only books. And then she found a mechanic book or she found a book that gave her the knowledge to break out of my house. And then she went on to write a book about that. And it's because of me that she's successful. And it's like, nah, it's because of you. <laughs> it's because of you that she was trapped in the basement in the first place. Like somebody real weird, real weird energy. Okay, I don't like it. It's giving somebody wanting to uh, change change their position like they wasn't the abuser, like they didn't just start the sentence off like I locked Virgo in, the ca in a cage. You feel me? I locked Virgo in the basement and then she learned how to do those things that got her the book knowledge. Like somebody sounds very stupid. Okay, they sound very stupid and crazy. All right, and this is the type of person, if somebody said that to me, I'd punch them in the face. Okay, that's just, just a quick, you know, so, somebody needs to beat them up, is all I'm saying. <laughs> is all I'm saying. Uh, amen. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> show me this person here with the because of you energy who feels, show me the tea on this person who feels like uh, they brought Virgo to stardom. Let's see the tea. I'm, I'm curious. It says somebody is spreading tea because they are jealous. Yo, <laughs> I just asked for the tea and they gave me the tea. And the tea is this person is making up lies because they're jealous of your success. They're saying, oh, it's because of you. But if somebody asked you about this person, you'd be like, you, you talking about the motherfucker who locked me in the basement? Like, this is the energy. It's real weird. All because they're jealous of you. They want to be attached to your success in some type of way. And they get attention when they talk about you. It says make careless mistakes that affect them long term. This is why. They made careless ass mistakes with you and it affected you long term. They tried to put you in the basement, Virgo. And then you had to go super saiyan. Like, this is the energy. Like, so I triggered Super Saiyan, so I get credit for you going Super Saiyan. Now you go get these hands. You go get these hands because now I'm in a position of success. And now I can really spill the tea on you since you come forward. Say you come forward. Oh, my gosh. Come forward and say you, you did this for Virgo. Come forward and say that. Watch how everybody don't believe you. Okay, this could be somebody who's not even like in your field, or this could be somebody who's in your field, has the same job as you or something, and they're like, because of you, and it's like, nah, nah, it's not, it's actually not. Acts innocent, pretends to play victim, so this person is trying to play victim after maybe they have locked you in a basement of some kind, tried to make you a slave of some kind. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? We have, they're returning and they haven't changed. Oh, if this person thinks that they have, they are returning, okay? And they're trying to stir the pot and exaggerate the truth so that when they do return, it seems less incriminating. How is that going to work out for this person? Whoever this is, is doing this so something seems less incriminating when they come back around. Like, it's okay. I don't want to put you in the basement. I've changed. I just want to work on things. Okay. Tell me how that's going to work out for this person, pretending like they changed. It says deep personal strength that assures peace and success. Yo, so this card came out again, and I, I don't know how, but it accidentally got back into the deck. But they really want this to be seen. Like, you have some type of strength and peace that assures success against anybody working against you. 
okay? Whoever this person is who's working against you, you have already succeeded against them. It's a losing battle and they don't even know it. And the more that they do, the more crazy that they look. I'm telling you. Can you imagine somebody like, I put Virgo in a cage and that's why she's brilliant. That's why he's brilliant, because I beat him. Like, what? Ah, this is, you know what it's giving? It's giving Michael Jackson's dad. Joe Jackson. Get Joe Jackson out there. <laughs> out that motherfucking energy. If you don't get Joe Jackson out my motherfucking energy right now, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Ooh, Lord. Okay, I rebuke it. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. This could be your father, okay? Your mother. Somebody really trying to say, because of some abusive shit that they did to you, you'd want, it, it made you like that. Or they got you your success because they beat you or something. It's weird. Okay, I don't like it. All right, too little, too late energy. <sighs> okay, JoJo. It doesn't matter anyways. Um, it's just a little too late. So with this uh, mysterious force on a loose Virgo, somebody feels like they did too little too late. And that's why you're moving mysteriously. You're on the loose fixed energy. Somebody feel like they had you. Yeah. They had you and they took too long. They did a little too let. They didn't do enough when they had you. Okay, somebody could have felt like you was playing along with them. <laughs> somebody could have felt like they was tricking you at one time, Virgo. Uh, or they did trick you. Somebody could have felt like you gave them true, genuine love at first until you saw them, okay? And you only saw them because they didn't do enough. And now they're trying to do some shit, and it's too little too late. Like, you should have did that. <laughs> You should have did that like a month ago. You should have did that seven months ago. You should have did that a year ago. Like, it's weird energy. Why is too little too late here for Virgo? Mysterious force is on the loose. Too little too late energy. We have Samaritan. It says, revive your capabilities to help others that you prefer to ignore. This person here feels like they should have refined their capability to help those they prefer to ignore this person preferred to ignore you virgo and they feel like they should have helped you okay because if they would have helped you they would have been in the circus with you okay they would have been uh in the sky okay that's the other energy i got above the clouds in the sky and that's them flipping around in the sky right now so i feel like this person feels like you were just a Samaritan, like you were just a, a nobody, basically. And they preferred to ignore you. OK, and now this person regrets it. Why do they regret it? Mm. Look, someone, you know, is independable and insincere. Mm. Why do they regret it here? Well, too little, too late. What's that energy? Yeah, heartbreaker was no longer yours. They heartbroken that you don't want them. They don't have you. Yeah, you're a mysterious force on the loose. Pioneer energy. We have passion for doing and creating what has not already been done. They see you as like, you're paving the way. You're, you're not a Samaritan. You're actually somebody who does things that they haven't seen before, tricks they haven't seen before. And they're wishing that they would have helped you when you may have needed a, a, a partner a boost a hand they wish they would have helped you because look, lovers and rescue here and we have thief and divine wow divine child hermit magical here somebody that you loved virgo could have rescued you from some type of theft they knew you were divine child hermit magical goddess energy and with the sabotage engineered detective, they knew you were being sabotaged from some type of stalking father energy. Man, 
because you were a healer. Somebody like knew you needed a hand, and they had what it what what you needed. It's crazy. They had what you needed, whether that's just a hand, somebody to listen to, some love, Virgo. They had that shit, and they chose to ignore you. Okay. This is the energy. Okay, now they feel like you're a mysterious force on the loose. Why does this person feel like it's too little too late? The Emperor reversed. Ah, oh, hell no. Somebody could have been... Five of Wands reversed. Oh, Lord. Okay. Why does this person feel like it's too little too late here? Mm -mm -mm. I don't know why. This shit is so loose. I swear, I feel like people be touching my stuff, but I'm just paranoid, okay? <laughs> I'm just paranoid. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we have the magician here. Uh, what's too little, too late? <laughs> emperor. Okay. We saw the emperor in the reverse, okay? Whoever this is is watching you. Five of wands. And <laughs> Ace of Coins energy. So somebody feels like it's too little too late here with the Emperor. I feel like this person already sees you um, in a position of authority, already in control. All is in order here with the Emperor. Spiritually, somebody feels like your guides protect you. Somebody learns learn that by trying to oppose you with the five of swords. They saw that some type of guide, you have some type of seat of authority. They see some type of power and control that you have. And they learned it because of some type of conflict that they tried to do against you with the eight of coins, with the two of swords. And they were unable to. Maybe this person was trying to conflict with your blessings, block your blessings. What's the five of wands here? We have the two of cups. We have the empress. Okay. Now we have a divine energy here. The emperor to the empress. Too little too late here. Huh. Wow. There is somebody here. Who sees how in control you are, who sees how and they learned it because they tried to put you in competition with another relationship, Virgo. What's the Ace of Coins? Maybe they tried to make you compete for them, compete for a relationship for them, like they're an opportunity, or what's the Ace of Coins here? The Two of Swords reversed. All right. Mm, mm, mm. No regret either with the five of cups in reverse and the four of swords. Not a loss, nothing. What's the emperor? The ten of cups. Uh uh. The queen of wands. Hear me out. Somebody wanted you to see them in 
uh, or somebody is seeing you in a position of authority, guides, ancestors controlling you, protecting you in a position of authority with this Queen of Wands energy. Somebody sees that. And with the Five of Wands to the Ace of Coins, they try to compete with you. And I feel like, Virgo, you saw it. And this is why you had no remorse from ending things, taking a break here. Somebody tried to put you in competition with somebody else. We have the Empress, the Hanged One to the Temperance energy. And I feel like as soon as you saw something from a different perspective, Virgo, or as soon as this person saw something from a different perspective, now they want to come towards you. Okay? This person really tried to confuse you. Confuse you that things were over, that they don't have no feelings for you. This is weird. This person may see you in a family or a relationship with somebody else. <laughs> and they learn that it's too little too late because they were over here trying to get you to compete for a relationship you weren't even focused on or seeing or knowing about. Weird energy. And it's like, it's okay. You don't have to compete. There's no competition here. Five of Cups in the reverse. No remorse. Nothing here. We can take this break. You can go away. Four of Swords. I'm cool. Four of Swords energy. And then we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the King of Swords. You knew this person was trying to trick you with this nonchalant behavior. You knew this was a trick. And we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse to get you to return. Seven of Wands in the full. And you're standing your ground. And you stood your ground and you had a new beginning. And you just like walked off into the sunset. This is somebody who's like, I'm going to leave you here. Like this is the scenario I'm getting. Like if you don't get in the car, I'm going to leave you here. And then you're going to have to find a way home. And you were like, okay, deuces. Or if this is, they just showed me a rodeo, Okay. Ride me like a rodeo. They just showed me like a rodeo, like a barn setting where people are dancing with each other with uh, boots on and hats. And somebody wanted to make you jealous by dancing with somebody else. And then they look back. They thought it was going to make you dance. It was like, Virgo, you want to dance? Virgo, you want to dance? He was like, no, no, no. And then it was like, okay, I'm going to dance with somebody else. And watch you want to be, want to dance with me when I shake it up with this person and you're like nah that just makes me never want to touch you ever again like that and then they turn around and you're gone you're not even dancing anymore you have relocated and now they feel like it's too little too late because they want to be around you but you have relocated you're a mysterious force on the loose uh, somebody was thinking that dancing with other bitches okay dancing with other dudes would trick you or force you into doing something virgo uh, I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay. And what's crazy is this person was holding some type of resources that you need. Okay. That's crazy. They were withholding resources and trying to get you to compete. Like, that's so crazy. This, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> weird energy that's so crazy it's like dangling over somebody's head like i'm about to share my last bottle of water with this person right here because you won't get over here and do what i said like i know you need this water watch you come over here and get this water because i'm giving it to somebody else he was like all right bet and then you went off to go look for other water like that's the energy and somebody really thought that i don't know weird energy i don't like them um, tell me about this person who did this to Virgo right here. <laughs> Who's this person? Who's this person who did too little too late to Virgo? Somebody may have a God complex with Messiah showing up immediately, G. Uh, who is this person? Oh, we have a mediator and a prince here. We have gift of negotiating fairness and strategies, personal profession, respects for both sides here. Okay, this was a traitor. They were working for both sides. You remember when I told you that there was something happening? This person knew you needed help. 
okay and they were working with the people who was trying to make you need help and working with you at the same time and looking at you and competing with you and they knew you needed their help and instead of fucking helping you virgo they tried to force you to be with them in a third party situation or compete with them kiss the ass they tried to do something for you okay in a romantic setting force you to do something in a romantic setting romantic charm and potential for power whoever this prince is is a little boy this is little boy ass energy they ain't even a king this is a prince and somebody a prince wanted to make you negotiate with both sides with the people who were trying to hurt you oh nah okay or i'm gonna drop you listen you look, you negotiate with the people here who I'm shaking hands with. I'm going to need you to trust these people. I'm going to throw you to the wolves and you got to grab these people hands who are putting you in this bullshit. Like somebody, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. A whole lot of hands, a whole lot of touching. Okay. And you can see he's wearing a glove here with the flower. You could have made this person wear a glove. <laughs> Or somebody needs to protect themselves. So there's a whole lot of touching in this energy. And I'm, oh, I don't fucking like it. Okay. Whatever this person is, they could have negotiate, negotiated um, your freedom from the people who was trying to oppress you. But this person wanted to charm you and manipulate you. Potential for power. That's what they wanted to do. Instead of helping you. And now it's too little, too late. You don't want them. They're associated with the people who was hurting you. So them, they thought like them work, you were going to be okay with them working for both sides. Like, no, you're an op. If you work with the ops, you are op. If you wear the same color they're wearing, everybody's getting shot. How am I supposed to differentiate? Just because you're wearing gloves don't mean nothing. You're the same as my ops. So you got to go. Somebody could have been telling your business. Sharing your information. Oh, Lord. Let me get out of this business. Let me get out of here. I got to get out of here. <sighs> Anyways, next energy here. Can we, can I be your best friend? Mysterious force on the loose. Can I be your best friend? Somebody sees you on, a, on the loose, Virgo. They see you as very mysterious energy here. Somebody wants to be your friend they want to be a part of this okay this is somebody here who is coming at you romantically but not like relationship energy i feel like they want to fuck because i don't need friends especially romantic friends what we go do romantically as a friend nothing g nothing nothing somebody want to slide okay this is this is the energy that i'm getting somebody wants to be your best friend and they also want to fuck you and it's like cool we could do the best friend stuff but you ain't gonna be we're not gonna be singing <laughs> we're not gonna be singing okay you're not gonna be clapping cheeks none of that like what is this can i be your best friend what's this energy here for virgo I, you probably thought this never wouldn't Somebody could speak with a slur, okay? They could have a speech impediment, um, wired jaw. They could have had something happen to their jaw where they speak like that. Distinctive accent I'm getting with the uh, uh, best friend energy. I probably thought this never would have. Um, why is can I be your best friend here for Virgo? Mysterious force on a loose Virgo energy. What's going on? Okay, we have child nature energy. Yeah, friendship with animals, communication with natural spirits here. Mm, 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 mm. Uh huh. They see. Okay, there's somebody here that sees your relationship with your animals and how you communicate with the nature spirits. They see how you move and they want to reap the benefits of this friendship that you have. Um, you could have just did your hair. Ooh, you could have got a new pet. You could be looking really, really pretty right now. Okay, you could have got a new piercing. Okay, you could have just got your hair did, changed the walls. You could be painting or doing something. Virgo, 
It's real cute on you. <laughs> ah. Or this is somebody who's real cute. Um, either way it go. Uh, some of you could be in the same sex with this companion energy here. Um, yeah, heavy on the same sex energy. Okay. Um, but yeah, somebody wants to be friends with you. They see how you communicate with spirit. So they want to be friends with you for the benefit. So this is my, can I be your best friend card? Because there's a benefit in that. And I feel like the benefit of being your friend may not be sex, Virgo. It may be the connection that you have with nature spirits. Okay. Let's see though. Uh, somebody definitely likes the fact that you're loyal, your tenacity, how unselfish you are. Somebody really likes your body as well and how your hair smell. Okay. <laughs> Somebody could like touching you. Somebody could be pregnant. Okay. Um, heavy on the flowers energy. Um, you could like wearing silky stuff, Virgo, like faux silk or silk, satin, cotton, linen, robes. Velvet is giving real fucking soft. Okay, it's giving real soft. Okay, uh, it's turning me on. Anyways, uh, what's this? Uh, can I be your best friend? Energy. Yeah. Uh, long journey, either physically or mentally, they'll leave you wiser at the end. Somebody feels like if they stick it with you, if they're your best friend for forever, if they're in your energy, if they create a bond with you. Um, it will leave them physically and mentally wiser at the end. Like I told you, you can you communicate with spirits and somebody wants to learn that spiritual aspect. They want to learn your wisdom. They want you to teach them. That is the benefit of this. But what are they benefiting you in this scenario here? Other than touching you. Other than smelling hair and touching you and rolling around in the grass. Okay, baby orgasms. What is this person offering Virgo here? Well, let's see. Why is can I be your best friend here? <laughs> the page of cups. I'm weak. I'm weak. The page of cups. Pay attention to your work. Beware of great pride. Parting of the ways romantically. <laughs> A period of depression. Short journey. Plenty of material Virgo. Okay, somebody sees you. They watch your work. Okay, with a beware, great pride energy, with a mysterious force and a loose. They feel like you're very prideful. Okay. Um, Peacocky, you could be showing off something about the colors, the shit that you're wearing. Uh, or somebody could be trying to peacock you, trying to get your attention. They know you just went through a breakup. Um, you may be depressed. Okay. Um, and I feel like that was short-lived some depression energy was very short for you and then you got back out into plenty of material things and somebody feels like you were able to do that because you have friendship with animals in nature and natural spirits all right half of y'all think that i'm congested 24 7 no it only happens when i get really deep into the reading my nose stopped Starts fucking up. I don't know why. Okay, I get the elephant nose and shit. Um, but I am not sick. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so somebody saw that some type of depression, sadness was short lived. He was back out it. Okay, getting back to your bag, getting into this material thing here, getting back into romance. Um, or this person wants to get you back into this. Okay. They, you could be receiving a lot of gifts. People could be showering you with gifts at this time. Shout out to the people who have been showering me with gifts, okay? Who's on this channel right now. You know who you are. Thank you. But you could be getting a lot, like, and you deserve it too, Virgo, with this good luck, good fortune energy. We have a wish will not be granted because somebody acted stupid in November. recognition and reward so there's something here coming up for you okay spirit is telling you that this year will be extremely happy okay you're going to be getting back to the basics that's crazy because above the cloud back into old hobbies okay which is the same thing of getting back to the basics virgo so 
I feel like this year will be fucking crazy. You're going to meet a new best friend. It may be a little weird and sexual. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that energy is, um, but everything is going to be very chill. You're about to be showered in gifts, in love, in appreciation, companionship, because you left behind the things from your past. And there is somebody here who is behaving stupidly. This energy that we got, this person could look like this too. Okay. Bumpy and bald. Red, rosacea. Okay. Just, uh-uh. Whoever this is, I don't know. Whoever this is behaving stupidly, this turkey, this coward ass bitch, somebody's a coward. They will not come towards you in real life, in person, none of that. They won't even talk to you. But behind the scenes, they're trying to fuck shit up for you. And whatever they're planning to do in November, that wish will not be fucking granted. You're about to get some type of recognition or reward in November with some type of court case or something with this person who's behaving stupid. All right. And then it's back to the back to the happiness, back to the basics, back to the happy energy. OK, feeling tied down or frustrated. Then back to the celebration. You feel me? And then we have this deep, deep friendship with somebody of the same sex energy that you may have sex with. I don't know what that is. You may or may not have sex with them. <laughs> I'm just getting real horny vibes, real, real horny vibes. OK, it could just be me because I'm celibate. And everything turns me on. And then I suck that energy up through my crown chakra and I come in my head. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> oh, shit. We got the. Oh, it's in the reverse. All right. Why is can I be your best friend energy here with Virgo? I feel like nature is trying to be your friend. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I want a natural spirit. Yeah, we the hermit, like a ghost? What's this? Heavy on the Casper, friendly ghost energy. Okay, some of y'all could have had somebody who passed on. <laughs> uh, don't be fucking ghost out here, all right? I feel like that's weird. How do you know it's the ghost that you want it to be? Okay, that's crazy. Don't be doing that. <laughs> some of y'all got ghost lovers or something. Or y'all like... Uh, phone sex or something weird coming in your head. Uh, what's the <clears throat> can I be your best friend energy? Uh, the world card. Mm. The world card. Why is the world card here? We have the four comes to the reverse. Mm. So it's the end to some type of yeah. Like King of Pentacles. Somebody wants to bring the end to monotony. Monotony? Monotony. Okay, a monotonous life. Okay, I'm saying that wrong, but you know what the fuck word I'm trying to say. Monotonous. <laughs> Somebody wants to bring an end to their very boring, basic life. Somebody may have, with the four cups in the reverse, they tired of some shit. They're tired of being stuck here. They're bored. And they're frustrated, they're unhappy. And somebody wants to be your best friend to bring mutual happiness to both of you. Or they feel like you can bring them happiness. You could be their wish fulfillment here. All right. Yeah, there's somebody here who pays attention to the work, goes to work here to combat some type of heartbreak or pain that they have. They're very guarded and dedicated to success. Somebody sees something from a different perspective. Um, they learn something. You may have taught them something with the high priestess. Yeah, you taught them something. A mysterious force on the loose here. You may have told them about a betrayal before it happened with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you illuminated some knowledge to them. And they were like, how did you illuminate this knowledge, Virgo? And you're like, I told you. I'd be whispering and talking to the plants and the animals and the ghosts. And I'd be over here. You feel me? You, you told them that you did something and somebody saw that to be true. And they're seeing their life. Oh, you woke somebody up for the matrix. Somebody was stuck in the matrix doing the same thing over and over again, just living out their monopolist ass life, trying to make it make money to be successful because that's what they were taught. And when they came upon you, Virgo, they realized they don't their life doesn't have to be boring. 
uh, they can communicate with spirit. Like this person saw you doing something that was like, what the fuck? How did you do that? Like you broke them out of 3D. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You spiritually woke something up. And this person wants to bring it in to both y'all just doing nothing. Like, this person, like, can I be your best? Like, we can go and do nothing and talk to spirit together, go on. Like, this person, is they're awestruck by what you do. And you may seem like it's boring and monotonous, but I feel like somebody it, is mutual here. All right? And my candle just went out. And I don't have a lighter. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so let's... Let's wrap this up. <clears throat> Let's wrap this up. Um, uh, why is can I be your best friend here? I feel like I already got this. Great personal sorrow. Somebody, I feel like they go through a lot of pain. They just live in their life in sorrow and sadness. And I feel like you saw them and being friends with you brought them out of that. And they're like, how did you do that? Or you you saw some type of great personal sorrow that they went through. Like you predicted something and then they went through it. And now they want to be with you so that you, they can be what you are so they can see this shit coming. Yeah, somebody thinks about you a lot behind your back. Who is this person with the can I be your best friend? Can I be your best friend? Um, the martyr. Yeah, man. Holy shit. Learning the transient nature of service to oneself or a cause. Look, it says working on yourself. Okay. And then there was something here about the smart man knows to get what he wants, he has to make sacrifices. There's somebody here who is used to be some uh, used to being some type of martyr or you did, Virgo. And somebody here wants to be your friend to help transcend this for a cause, to do do it for you feel me like you may do something for a cause, for the animals, for nature. Like you have purpose, your spirituality. Somebody did not have that. They were just being a martyr. They were just living in this life because that's what they had to do. And I feel like this person met you. Y'all, yeah. they said it was the same sex, but who the fuck is that? <laughs> what? They said it was the same sex. And I told you that it was real horny in this bitch. Okay, look at this man being pulled by his sacral and his heart chakra, just being pulled towards you. Up out his shoes, my man. And look, above the clouds, Virgo, you got this man above the clouds. Or they got the shoe above the clouds. Somebody take you to cloud nine. There's a whole lot of sexual energy up here. And I'm getting off, okay? I'm getting off of this energy. Okay, no pun intended, but pun intended. Okay. Um all right. <laughs> all right. Woo! We gotta get that energy up out of here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, we have an Avenger. Wow. Somebody is about to avenge you. They wanna free you from some energy somebody feels like they can mentor an angel or you are mentor angel damsel in distress take the roses they resonate but this is some sexy ass energy and it's like a video game y'all i'm seeing yo i'm seeing some weird this may be your like soulmate in your twin flame i'm seeing some weird scenario play out where the universe was just like boop you feel me? Like he was just magnetized by his sacral chakra and his heart chakra towards you. And you were already there. And it was just like, 
Um, and then, and then he go put on his mask. This is the same man, y'all. He may grow out his hair more. His hair may have grown. This man be maybe all over the world, travel all over the world. Okay, but whoever this is wants to avenge you. Okay, they could want to avenge their mother. Okay, somebody wants to free somebody or you freed somebody from something. Mentor and angel, damsel, athlete, somebody real. They cut to stop. They cut to. <sighs> 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 Stop. I'm being overly dramatic and it's probably fucking up the mic. And I'm sorry. But if you feel the energy, you feel the energy. That shit's sexy. There's going to be some type of like. This giving me like comic book energy. Somebody may write comic books. Somebody may have like a secret journal of comic books and they haven't shown anybody. Anyways, let me stop exposing this man. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Sunday candy energy. This is come on on this house. It's going to rain. Rain down Zion. It's going to rain. All right. With the mysterious forces on the loose energy here. Virgo, this is you. Mm. This is somebody telling somebody to come in the house before it rains. But your energy is on the loose. So that's contradictory. This is literally somebody be like, hey, there's a thunderstorm happening. A natural disaster that God is planning is about to happen. There's about to be a hurricane, a tornado that wipes out everybody. Come on in this house. And you're mysteriously on the loose. You didn't come into the house. You're on the loose. What's that about? Why is Sunday candy here? Is something going to happen in 2015? Um, Chance the Rapper, didn't he just get a divorce? Okay. <clears throat> Something also about uh, those little caramel candies, you know, those orange, the church candies. All right. We have God, okay? And then we have come into the house. What the fuck? All right, G. All right, G. It says, benevolent and compassionate, recognizing the eternal force within yourself or others. Okay? Sunday candy. So somebody recognized a benevolent and compassionate force inside of you, or you're recognizing this inside of somebody else? Because you're on the loose. So you may have told somebody to come in the house. You may have predicted something. And now somebody sees that you are actually benevolent. Yeah, two energies back to back. If somebody seeing you, understanding, knowing, listening to you, lover. And then we have none energy. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you could be a nun. Or just celibate. <clears throat> I didn't even get a card. Why is Sunday energy here? Sunday candy energy for Virgo. We have the shapeshifter. Skills of navigating through different levels of consciousness. Ability to see the potential in everything. Come on in this house. It's going to rain. Child eternal. Determining, determination to stay young in the body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Hmm. And then we have mysterious force on a loose for your energy. And then we have this navigation sh shapeshifter for your energy. Like I said, somebody told you, okay, somebody told you to come in the house or they may have told you it's going to rain. You feel me? They may have told you something and you navigated something. The skills of navigating through a different level of consciousness, ability to see the potential of everything. Like that's a hurricane over there coming out of this house. It's going to rain and you're like, it's okay. 
I can see something you don't see. Visionary. I can see something you don't see. Child divine. Stop it. And then we have liberation in the reverse. And it says imposing your tyranny over those who claim to be liberated. Ignoring legitimate constraints. Then we have detective and martyr again. What the fuck is this shit, yo? Heavy on the captive. I don't know why so many people are trying to keep you captive, cap, trap you, liberator in the reverse. It says imposing your own tiny over others you carry to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. So somebody claims to be a liberator. So this is somebody who's like, I'm warning you, I'm liberating you from a storm. But we have detective here. You're too smart for something. When you looked at something, didn't they say that? Where's the eyes energy? Ability to see things through fresh eyes. This person was like, it's about to rain. I'm telling you. I'm trying to liberate you from something. Come on in this house. And what you saw was a whole different thing. Because you can navigate through anything. You see the potential through everything here. You saw something with fresh eyes. You were capable of envisioning something other people... Willingness to procreate a vision without the regard for personal gain. So somebody was like, this is church, come here, come to the house. And you were like, nah, even a church person could be a liar. See, that's the energy. I learned quickly that even the preacher could be a rapist. I learned quickly not all churches are church. I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy at all. Like, I'm divine. Come to me. Innocent purity and redemption suggests special connection with the divine over and over and over again. And you know God. This is like somebody trying to tell you God and you're like, ah, I know who God is. And I don't sound like the God I know. Okay. Why is Sunday candy here? We have climbing the ladder to success. Getting together with friends. Time to go out. Someone trying to make you do something against your will. Burn off. <laughs> This is our motherfucking energy. Affairs with your family, time to act, family wishes come true, and prosperity. You got to be out your mind. Somebody feels like if you come to them, they can help you climb this ladder to success here. But you see potential uh, where you're at. You already know a way to success. It didn't involve a motherfucking ladder or a shoot, something about shoots and ladders. Whoever this person is, they want you to get together with them and have fun. And you don't want the motherfucking do that. Mysterious force on the loose. I kept getting this energy. Somebody may have some affiliation with your family trying to make you take action. Or they're trying to take action on you. Like, it's time to get in the house, Virgo. Family wishes come true. Prosperity. A two-faced friend. I'm telling you. Something ain't real, G. Something ain't real. June. Slowly but surely getting ahead. Yeah. Work, achievement, and success. Virgo, you're slowly getting ahead where you're at, where you're doing by yourself in some type of later, your motherfucking own. And this is making somebody very sorrowful. You have control your anger, you're going to be sorry. 
good news. What? Distant people thinking about you. Okay. Before I get angry, like, this is... That's just bad energy. Like, we're with the church. We're with the rescuers. Okay. We're here to rescue. And you're like, mm, mm, I don't trust it. And they're like, what the fuck? And you're like, yeah, I don't trust it. <laughs> okay. Why is Sunday candy here? <clears throat> Ah, I think somebody has an organization, a church or an organization that they use to help them clatter the line of success here. And with the shape shiver, shape shifting energy, you are able to navigate through different consciousness and see through something. This is like you having. Hold on, I think my baby woke up. 